In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a timer or a stopwatch in Excel with simple VBA code. Let me show you. On this sheet, I have created a stopwatch or timer. Here we can see that I have two command buttons, start and stop. On cell A1, I have given some instructions like how we can use the time format cell A2 where we can enter time for a stopwatch. Let's see how we can use this timer. In cell A2, I need to enter time in hours, minutes and second format. So if I want to use this timer for let's say 1 minute and 30 seconds, so I'll give time as 1 minute and 30 seconds. Once I press enter, we can see that here we have 1 minute and 30 seconds. To start this timer, I will click on the start command button and this will start. Now, while this timer is running, in between if we want to stop, then we can click on the stop button. It will stop on that specific time. And we can start it again by clicking on this start button. So let's see how it gets completed automatically. If we don't click on a stop button, it will complete the time that we have given. We can use this stop watch or timer for hours, minutes and second. Let it be completed and then we will see how we can easily develop this. So it is completed and now let me open a new excel file and let's see how we can quickly develop this timer using simple VBA code. In cell A1, I can say how we need to enter time, hours, minutes and seconds. So let me increase the font on this entire sheet and then here on cell A2 we can set the format so I will press Control and 1 or even we can right click then I will go to custom and here I can say hours, minutes and seconds press ok now if I enter anything it will be in the same format hours minutes and seconds and what we can do we can select few cells then click on merge so this cell we have created by merging more than one cells and then in this cell we can give formula or we can refer to cell A2. Now let me increase the font size for this cell. Now we can see that this cell is referring to cell A2. So whatever we enter value in cell A2, let's say 1 minute 
for 5 minutes 25 seconds so same time will reflect in this cell that we have created by merging few cells then i will go to developer tab we have this insert option from activex controls i will select a command button and i will drag a command button then one more command button we can drag or even we can copy the existing command button and paste it then on first command button right click go to properties change caption to start and then on font we can increase the font size then we can select the second command button and we can change the caption for second command button let's increase the font for this command button as well make it the same like first one now we can close this property window now i'll double click on this first command button so we can write any code on this command button so what i am writing here i am writing one name that is start underscore time later we will create the function with same name and this is we can say we are calling that function then on second command button also we will double click and let me write and underscore time so first command button will call start time second command button will call function name and time now i'll create these two functions where we can create on left hand side you can see this workbook here i will right click click on insert and then insert a module here i will create a sub routine with name as start time so let me write sub start underscore time once i hit enter it will automatically add and sub so here i write application dot on time space now space plus sign and then there is a function time value here i'll mention 00 colon 00 colon 01 so these two zero are representing hours minutes and then these two digits are representing seconds then comma one space let me write one keyword next moment so this is also a subroutine that i will create later in this tutorial so we can say that this is the start time subroutine now next i'll create the subroutine for end time sub and underscore time here application dot on time space now space plus sign time value then time format here we will give the same time format with one second and then next moment and then one more comma and write keyword false 
that means when we will press first command button it will start time by one second when we will press stop command button that is second command button it will make this function false now let's define the next movement subroutine next movement what we will write here so let me show you we have entered time in cell a2 so i am going to write worksheets sheet name is sheet 1 dot range a2 dot value equal to so value of a2 equal to let me copy it same value minus here we will use function time value format would be same press enter so we can see that I have mentioned one second here and then I will call start underscore time so this is the VV code that should ideally work for timer. Let's see how it is working. So here I will check this with only 10 seconds. If I click on a start, so right now we are in design mode. Let me click on design mode. So now we can click on this start button we can see that code is working and timer is decreasing time by one second now we are getting error runtime error 1004 why this error is occurring because we cannot reduce time in negative like less than one second you fix this I'll go to VV editor click on debug click on reset and here on next moment subroutine I'll add one line of code if worksheets sheet 1 dot range a2 dot value equal to 0 then what should happen exit sub so this one line will fix the problem that is occurring when time is going below one second or below zero I would say now let's check it let me give this time 15 seconds let me click on its start button let's see if we have fixed this error So we have fixed this error and now timer is ready for use. What else we can do this? We can change the formatting color or whatever things we want to make this timer beautiful. We can incorporate changes.
let me show you the VBA code again. I hope this is helpful for learning VBA with easy examples. If you have any question around this topic, write into comments and subscribe to my channel for more advanced VBA tutorials. Thank you.